welcome to Every Yearning Entertainment Studios. I figure what better way to start everything off in the right direction than do a classic reaction video. Five scary ghost videos to cause a crazy reaction and this is a reaction video. So let's do it. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Following. If you're a regular viewer of Nuke's Top 5, then you probably remember Czech ghost hunter ILM and Bono Paranormal. I featured some of his previous terrifying explorations as I've never heard of Isle and Bono Paranormal. Not once. At an abandoned car factory in the past. No. No, no way. No way. Some, uh... <laughs> no! <laughs> way. The old car factory in the city of Os... Yeah, I've seen it. The old car factory in the city of Ostrava, Czech Republic has been abandoned for almost 60 years after a large explosion took the lives of several workers. Locals claim that the angry spirits of the deceased workers still haunt the decaying old factory. At the end of his previous exploration, Bono fled in terror, but his viewers wanted to see more. So reluctantly, ILM and Bono once again returns to the spooky abandoned car factory. And this time, even though he's understandably very nervous, he promises his new audience that he'll do his best to keep calm and not run away from anything. But it turns out that that promise might be a bit hard to keep. There's... what? <laughs> you won't believe me. I just got spooked by my hair. Wow. I straight up been walking around before and like the crease on my pants will push against my leg and I'll think something touched me. Happens to everybody. Real ghost hunter. The nervous ghost hunter actually gets spooked by his own hair, but he laughs it off and continues as he makes his way through dark winding hallways deeper and deeper into the abandoned factory. He starts to get an uneasy feeling that he might not be alone. Je tu někdo se mnou v téhle místnosti? Oh. Uh, sorry, I, I couldn't get it. I uh, just built this little studio office thing I got going on here. And it's nighttime, and I haven't had a chance to put any kind of insulation, any kind of heat, any kind of cool air, you know, airflow. It's cold as so I had to run go get a blanket. My apologies. Je tu někdo se mnou v téhle místnosti? A door slams shut somewhere near the frightened ghost hunter. As he tries to find the source of the loud sound, he finds an open door into a small bathroom area. Now what's especially odd is that the door to the bathroom area had been locked shut earlier, making the room inaccessible. But now the door is mysteriously open. In a later investigation, Bono carefully enters the bathroom area and begins to explore. It did not go well. Now I'll say this. I really like videos and footage that's submitted by people who aren't paranormal investigators and aren't really too heavy into things because there is so many fake paranormal investigators out there and you're going to think, wow, that's if you believe and if you don't believe, you're just going to call bullshit on everything, including the real stuff. So, with paranormal investigators, when footage like this is brought in, one of the first things you should start doing is looking into the investigator, looking into the investigator team, what kind of videos do they have, looking into the people they know, does anybody claim that they've done something fake? And have you ever caught them doing anything like that? For a lot of people, it's a hustle. For a lot of people, it's how they make their bread, it's how they feed their family. I think maybe that they should make it obvious that 
they're not real paranormal investigators. Hello. Is it I hear something, bro. From this place. No. No. Já, já jsem tu přišel jenom pro leda, já jsem chtěl jenom nějaké fotky. Já to ne... Popular Korean ghost hunter Yoon Shuan goes out to explore an Another ghost hunter. ...abandoned house in the middle of the night. Yoon claims in his YouTube videos that while he does sometimes film at allegedly haunted locations, he never fakes or fabricates any of the creepy activity that he captures in his investigation. This is exactly what I was just talking about. This is the kind of stuff that I like to see. He's like me. He's gonna make it well known. Like none of this shit is fake. None of what I'm doing is is me faking it. And and it's these kind of people that I have a lot of high hopes for. I fucking love that guy. I don't even know. Captures in his investigations, but just like everyone else, Yun Shuan can occasionally get a little spooked. Sometimes by something silly. Why? Did you see that? That's a baton. This man is walking around with a baton. Yun Shuan completely forgets that he's using a spirit box phone app when suddenly a loud voice from the app warns him, be careful. Yun gets jump scared by his own app and flies into a bit of a rage. As he wanders too close to his own rim pod and accidentally sets it off himself. So Yun decides to use a phone app called Snow that similar to Snapchat can detect faces and then add a filter or mask. And things get a bit creepy. Now mind you, this is a phone app. This is a regular phone app that's being used to detect a human facial structures like features and it, it's not a paranormal tool. This is not a piece of equipment that is meant to capture the paranormal. It is only meant to pick up a person's face. So for this to be picking up faces is... Cameras don't get pareidolia. Not like that. I beg for stuff like this. The app on his phone seems to be picking up a face right in front of a closed door. When he kicks it open, he discovers an empty room. The door then slams shut on its own. Now, this could be explained away as a draft of air blowing the door closed. 
but what happens next is a little harder to explain. Yoon places the REM pod right in front of the mysterious closing door and then continues to use the phone face detecting app. What happens next is truly bizarre. Interesting. That is not a paranormal piece of equipment. That is not built to pick up anything but a, a facial structure. You know, it's an algorithm that's built into that to the app itself. Uh, let me know if you want me to try that. Attachment. Ghost Hunting brothers Josh, Sean, and Rocky Foreman from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series were contacted by a family in Bloomington, Indiana, who claimed that they were experiencing a terrifying and violent haunting inside their home. The family claims they see the hooded apparition of a man in their bedrooms late at night, and they've witnessed the spirit of a young girl running through their house. But that's not all. Water faucets in the house turn on by themselves. The family hears unexplained talking and banging. During the night, something tugs at their blankets, and they find random unexplained bruises all over their bodies. But most terrifying of all, one day the kitchen stove gas is turned on without them knowing and left on for hours, Ooh. putting the entire family in grave danger. The homeowner, Ron Hudson, believes that all of this strange activity could possibly be caused by the restless spirit of his deceased brother. Okay, my brother passed away, it's been a, almost eight years ago, but he was cremated and his remains are in this, this box. This is the urn type thing that they put those ashes in after a cremation, so. That's my brother. <laughs> but the idea that it could be Ron Whether or not me and my brother were close, I'm also convinced that this guy might not be wrong about what he's saying. Rest in peace, brother, investigation. Check it out. It could be wrong. Hudson's brother doesn't really explain the violent nature of the haunting. After all that has happened to the family, the mother and daughter, Virginia and G. Marie, believe that the supernatural presence in their home might be something much more sinister. Oh, there is something by you. Is there? Okay, so this is a special camera. From what I've seen, it works. But just like the uh, facial structure app where it picks up a face and puts a mask on it off that facial structure of a person, this is the same idea, only built in in a more full body way, a more broad spectrum of those kind of detections. And it's meant for paranormal investigators. So this, this um, camera that we're looking at right here, to the right here, where that little green line is, you can see it's going to pick up a body that's going to start moving. Come on back, it's cool. Go by the bed. Oh, there it is. We can see you. Are you evil? Now all of the evidence that they capture is pretty creepy, but when the three brothers sit down to interview mom Virginia, they capture something downright terrifying. You know, we see shadows a lot. I'm always thinking somebody's behind me. It looked like a shadow went straight through that room over there. Ooh. This is where credibility of paranormal investigator comes in. Is there somebody walking through that room in the background? There's way more people than him and Grandma Virginia. And they've got this random room in the background that's just out of sight, just in, in the peripheral. I don't know what I would want to call that. I don't know if I would want to say that that's paranormal. The credibility of the investigator is at stake on this one. I, I don't know. Grave. Paranormal YouTuber and Facebook live streamer El Payaso de la Toledo sets out to investigate the allegedly haunted Los Mochis Cemetery in Mexico. 
he's joined by his friends and fellow video creators Lorena Jacobo and Munra Vlog. This is why I need to learn a new language. I can go to Mexico and talk to spirits. That would be cool as... The investigators head to the graveyard to investigate the alleged paranormal sightings of the quote, Lady in the White Jacket, a local paranormal legend of a ghost woman who is said to walk the cemetery. However, once the group begins their investigation and invites the spirits of the old cemetery to show themselves, they don't see the lady in the white jacket. If they try to say that sound is paranormal, I don't know, man. Look at his hands. Looks like he's blowing into something. Sounds like an Aztec death whistle. Ooh. Pasó un niño, güey. Pasó un niño, güey. Pasó un niño, güey. Un niño. Pasó un niño por aquí. Por aquí, payaso. Sí, sí, era un niño, güey. ¿Para qué se metió? Sí. Investigator Moonra Vlogs blows air into his hand to make some sort of call. I don't think they understand what that was. That sounds a lot to me like something called an Aztec death whistle. Look it up. I'll throw a screenshot up uh, in the caption or whatever. I'll, sh I'll show you a screenshot of an Aztec death whistle. That's what it sounds like. It makes a very unique sound. Um... So whatever he's got in his hand, I'm willing to bet. And what that's used for is to call spirits towards you. The original use was the Aztecs were to blow on it to scare away bad spirits and call good spirits to protect them. They also used it in war to scare the ever-living shit out of anybody who would try to mess with them. And let me tell you, if you hear 20 of these going off in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere... At night, you're gonna go the other direction. I don't care who you are. So, I I'm willing to bet that that was an Aztec death whistle and it does have a spiritual connotation. So I'm also willing to bet that if this is paranormal, that's why possibly to create energy for the spirits to use to manifest themselves. And that's where the figure of a small pale child can be seen running across the cemetery path. The creepy apparition disappears behind the gravestones. Now keep in mind that this is all being streamed live as the team immediately goes looking for the mysterious child. And that's when things get even stranger. ¿En dónde estás? Está llorando. No mames. Niño. Ay, no mames, güey. Ey, se está riendo. ¿Por qué se está estar, riendo, wey? payaso? Anda un niño aquí. Hoy. Sí. No, eso me recuerda como como que abrieron una reja o o una puerta, güey. When calling out to the child, the three investigators hear unexplained cries and laughter. They have no idea why a child would possibly be in the graveyard this late at night, and they continue searching out of concern for the child. But when it becomes clear that there is no one else in the cemetery, they start to believe that they might have witnessed an actual child spirit. 
they change tactics and start to ask the spirit to once again appear before their eyes. Si eres un niño, si eres un demonio, si eres lo que seas, te pedimos que te acerques. Queremos verte de nuevo. Queremos escucharte. Uy. Aquí el otro no, compa. estás hablando? ¿Dónde estás? Ándalo a ver. ¿Qué fue? ¿Algo pasó? Sí. Sí, algo pasó, compa. ¿Qué fue? Mira, mira. Aquí corrió algo. Aquí estás, niño. ¿En dónde estás? Ah, no lo saber. Mira, mira, espérame. No, Ay, no, no mames. Wow. Si es un niño, güey. Si es un niño, si es un niño. Si es un niño, güey. Si es un niño. Go, 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 go. Espérame. A ver, amigos. Si es un niño, güey. Si es un niño. Por aquí pasó, güey. Si es un niño, si es un niño. A ver, güey. There's no way this is a real kid. Strange sounds seem to surround the three investigators, and again, the figure of a small child runs across the cemetery path, disappearing amongst the gravestones. The team runs to find the child, but there's no one there. The mysterious wow. child seems to have disappeared into That's thin air. Wild. So did Mexican ghost hunter El Payaso de la Toledo and his friends... Unholy. Urban Explorer Christopher Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill is back on another exploration to a new abandoned location. This time he explores the first Hungarian reformed church in Cleveland, Ohio. As he plays around with the dead keys of the old organ, the explorer captures something very creepy and unexpected on camera. of the broken electric organ make no sound, but suddenly the piano across the room blasts out a note, as if something unseen slammed down on one of its keys. Christopher is shocked and makes his way over to the piano to check it out, but he finds nothing out of the ordinary. Then a chair suddenly- That chair that fell over is tipped in a way that's very inconspicuous, as if it was about to fall over anyway. And he had already made his way the other direction, so he could have leaned that chair over so that it could tip later on. This piano... He could have thrown something. Could have been an old cord that snapped back. I don't know. I'm real skeptical. And I, I don't understand why this is the biggest one. And yeah, there's a lot going on. And yes, it's possible, but... It's just... That chair kind of makes me think about everything in a wider perspective and how that's that's already set to fall. So I'm going to start testing the credibility of the paranormal investigator now. And that'll about do it. Nuke's top five video reaction. First reaction video I've ever done. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, hit the subscribe button and leave a like. Share it out and let's get this out here because I think I'm going to start doing reaction videos. I want to start doing some interviews. I want to start actually putting together some videos that are worth the shit to watch. So, happy nightmares. <laughs>